Hello, and welcome to the USF 2000 here at Indy Motor Speedway Road Course. I am unfamiliar with this track for the most part. I don't think before this week I had ever been here before. I'm trying to figure out if I have or not. I don't remember because I've seen other people race it, and I've seen it raced in real life. So... I've seen it enough to be somewhat familiar with the layout, but I'm like, have I ever driven here before? <laughs> and you would think I would know, but I'm leaning toward no. I don't think I've raced this myself before, uh, I, but I could be wrong. Uh, something I do know is that I might as well have not raced this before because I'm not very good. And that's okay. Because I'm not good at the USF 2000. <laughs> anyway. So. I'll just be getting more laps in. I'm going to try not to crash. That's a good first step. Try not to crash. Get some experience around this place. I actually did one practice race with this combo already so this isn't technically my first race ever at this track either way but uh, I, I chose not to record that one because I just I really needed to focus on learning the track and I didn't think I was gonna be able to talk very much during and uh, still might have to take some time to focus at times I uh, hope you bear with me there. Because I don't want to crash. Probably getting the gears, like the gear shifting, wrong at times. Like, there's probably times where, like, oh, it would be much faster to stay in third through there or something, but I just don't know about it. So that's part of uh, the learning process. I tried a couple new things during practice, and you know how it goes. As usual, you don't want to get the tires off track here, because you just spin around like a tornado if you touch the grass even for a millisecond, so that's not a good strategy. Avoid doing that, of course. got really loose right there and you can see this is not going to be a very fast lap especially compared to my old time optimal One more lap. but I don't expect to be fast I just want to make it to the end I know I'm the number one car but I'm not going to be competitive really you can see P6 right now qualifying I'm going to be looking to make passes as skies uh, spin out and such. That's probably where most of the passes are going to come in for me. Do session optimal here, see if we can make a better second lap. 129.0 was my first attempt there. too bad through there that was pretty good compared to last lap definitely I think <laughs> maybe I'm wrong trying to be a little more aggressive on the brakes without uh, locking up the tires there's where I got loose last lap so I should gain a ton right here so this lap will be a good bit better I think then last lap, almost about half a second. And that'll bring me to a 128.3. <laughs> that just puts me back in sixth after I dropped a little bit, so. But that's okay. Um, we'll be able to keep up with some faster guys, hopefully, because of draft during the long straights. Maybe learn something from the lines other guys are taking. 
And most importantly, get some experience myself just out here. I think I might want to stay in third right there. Can't tell. But I hope it's uh, a fun race. I really enjoy this car. Even if I do end up crashing out. At least I uh, will hopefully be able to enjoy myself beforehand. <laughs> Just very inconsistent right now. Uh, very uh, scared to get on the throttle a lot of the time. Because you know, sometimes it wants to snap around on you. So I don't want that to happen. And uh, I'm still learning when to identify, you know, when's a good time to get hard back on the throttle and when I should be patient. Top time is a 127.1, so we're not crazy far off. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're about a second off compared to the qualifying time. Um, my all-time best is a 127.8, so it's a little closer. Oh, shoot, I'm not paying attention! <sighs> yeah. This isn't a track I can do that. A lot of places, like especially oval racing, I can like fiddle with my stuff looking away from the track. <laughs> but here I look away for a second and I'm like, oh wait, I was supposed to break there. So that is a good indicator of how unfamiliar I am here. Can't look away for even a second or I crash. So we are waiting on the 16 to do anything. They're not qualifying, presumably, and they're not doing... I mean, they're we're taking a potty break right now or something. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But uh, hopefully you can't hear my fiance in the background. She's talking with her friend on the phone and yelling about a TV show, having fun. I don't want to stop her from doing that. <laughs> so hopefully uh, audio isn't too bad. But I got 54... Break bias. I'm gonna move it, I guess, down one. I don't know. I've been up and down all over the place with that because, like, sometimes it feels like I'm locking up the brakes and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. And then other times I'm getting loose on the brakes. And I'm like, well, okay, I'll put it back up again. And I just can't decide. That's probably something I need to worry about more once I can actually hit a solid line consistently. But we have settled into P7 here as a starting spot. So I guess that's the top half of the field. Pretty much everyone qualified almost. So, hey, I'll take it. Pretty much everyone around me is not a license. <laughs> but, you know, they just might not be a... Yeah, three. look, we got some We're a licenses right here. Pit road is closed. We got out-qualified out by a 900 out rating guy. <laughs> so... Yeah, I might as well be a 900 die rating guy in this series, because all of this comes from Formula V, and from Mazda, and uh, just a tiny bit of other things mixed in there. But not so much, always this car. So I'm not too worried about that. I don't expect to finish first, like my car number suggests. I just want to have a clean race. And I think I'd probably just be satisfied with that so long as I don't finish, like, right at the tail of the field or something. So we will have to survive a pace lap. The dreaded pace lap. In a road series. Always a little more scary than it should be. I'll just do my part <laughs> to not run into anybody on the pace lap. Hope everyone else does the same as they're weaving back and forth with their tire warming and all that. I think we're about ready. Who are we waiting on? A six. Hang on, six car. Johnny. Johnny, please report to the grid. 
minutes. You really need to get on with it. Seventh position. Johnny has chosen not to report to the grid. We need to follow Carnum. Johnny's starting for the pits. All right. The left lane. Johnny might be onto something. Who knows? Johnny was on the spot, maybe, and that's why he uh, <laughs> didn't make the grid. Anyway, I think it's a first gear start, if I remember. Yeah, you got enough room to hit the gas. No tire spin or anything, either, that I remember. So we should be able to get a decent launch. Just making sure I'm aware of my surroundings. Make sure there's no one close by. I almost got hit in behind. Jesus, man. <sighs> See, I'm telling you, these pace laps, they're not a given. They are much more scary than they need to be. I've seen some scary, horrible things during the pace laps in these road series. 12 had to lock up his brakes to not hit me. But thank goodness he's warming his tires. That'll be the edge he, that he needs. I'll get my brakes up to temp, I guess. I don't know if that's a thing in this car, but I will. That doesn't require me to swerve all over the place. So hopefully we don't die into turn one. This guy behind us is about to run into us on the pace lap. What does that tell you about turn one? which is a pretty heavy braking zone. He's already still hitting us, giving me zero room behind for no reason. I'm probably just extra touchy, but I mean, doesn't that look <laughs> kind of close in the mirror? And you know, objects in mirror are closer than they appear, so I don't want him to get any closer than that. Oh my God, get away from me. Why do I have to be, can't I like have a nice relaxing time before the start of the race? Like, you know, catch my breath, get ready, mentally prepare. I just, I don't like being nervous on the pace laps. Oh well. About to go green, stay focused. Going? Okay, can't tell. I think we're going. All right. Never easy to tell, but I think we are going. <laughs> Gotta remember, if uh, we got draft, we will have to break earlier. I thought that was going to say car on the right, and I was really scared. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. All right, we are no longer side by side. I like that. Sure, I break on time here. Tires are cold, so I do have to consider that. A little less grip, a little more violent of a snap if the car's gonna snap. Just things to consider. But it looks like we've made it through the first lap. All right. That's step two. Step one, survive the pace laps. Step two, survive the first lap. All right, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Someone's exiting the pits. We had some people have some issues. Sounds like. You got a slow car on the right. I don't like the fact that they're coming out of the pits right in front of us. Hopefully, we can get around easy. Slow car on the left. Go right. Ramirez. Left side, leading the race. Clear. 
Cool. So, they had a wreck, I had to avoid them. I think I avoided there the damage. Oh, jackass. <sighs> of course, the lap car coming out of the pits in the middle of the pack is right there. You got a slow car on the right. You got a slow car More on the right. More crashing going on. I think the 4X I got was... Left side. Tell where this guy's gonna be. Clear. Good move, mate. Whew. All right, I have no idea where we are in the field. Too many things happened that lap. <laughs> but at least, thankfully, the 4X we got was... Net code related, I think. I don't think I have any damage. Sixth place. Sixth place. That's okay with me. You got a toy car on the right. You got more crashing going on, Zoo. That is a lap car, though, so no free spots. Maybe we can catch up to the fifth place driver here and get some draft. Not sure how we are on speed compared to them. Cars are getting up to temp. I can sling it through the corners a little bit more. Feel a little bit more confident. The gap to Bray ahead is now 1.9 seconds. does appear we are gaining ahead. So we might be able to get some more if we keep it steady. We'll see when we get there, if we get there. The lap time was at 128.0. Sector two is two tenths off the pace. Pretty equal with them ahead through the first couple of corners. I feel like we're just outside of draft range, so I don't know if we're going to get much from that. Ooh, I almost went too far to the right there. That was not great positioning. Almost overdid it. Ended up in the grass. We are definitely catching. And we are within draft range now. Going to have to keep it... Uh, break a little earlier here, because we are going to be heading into turn one faster. Hey, Nate, let these guys battle. Okay, we'll catch them. We got a good six seconds behind us. That's good. Feel uh, no pressure back there. Break earlier. Hmm. 
Oh, I went a little wide there. Didn't quite get the angle I needed. Definitely don't need to get a wide angle to this final corner. He kind of like went up to the left. I don't think that's necessary. Gain a little bit more. I don't want to fight this guy too much when we get him because we could potentially get up to fourth even. Keep searching, you'll find a gap. I definitely do better following guys, especially through my corners that I'm not good at at all. This car gets much faster the longer you go in a row. Uh oh. He goes off there, P4. Car on your left. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Right side. He's gonna cross me over, but I have the preferred line. Right on the left. Clear. Alright, I think that worked out. I think that was okay. He's going to have draft, but I might have a little bit of draft with the guy ahead. Let's see if he has enough steam behind us to catch up. You're in You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. I think we're okay. You've just done a 128.8. Guy goes a little wide. Woo! Loose on the throttle. All right, pulling a little bit away from the five back there. This is exciting. The to break ahead is now 0.5. Pretty equal with him there. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Five minutes to go. Wow, this thing's already coming to a close. Whoa, drifted through the exit. <laughs> I gotta be careful now. We're going to have a huge run on him, up to turn one. Feels like he's picked up the pace a little bit too. I don't know if he's feeling the pressure or if he just uh, found his marks after having some trouble. I overdrive and he overdrives too. We both overdrive. Oh my goodness. We both overdrove the same corner at the same time. Stay close, there might be a chance here. Ramirez is now in the lead. Got an okay run through there. Could be better, but I'm slow anyway. So I'll take what I can get. I don't know why he does that. I swear you don't need to do it. You don't need an angle into this final corner. 
We're gonna be side by side heading into turn one. Still there, hold your line. You're in fourth position. You're just done at 128.1. You got a slow car on the right. Yellow car stopped on the right. Clear on the left. Car stopped on the right. I was nervous about what I was gonna see because I knew we had someone on the uh, on the right coming up. And that was for position up here. Oh, this just got even more interesting. Go catch him, man. I'm not going to try to pass you here. I think that guy had is plenty fast enough to get away from us. I was hoping we could grab onto his draft and have a chance at him. Oh, he locks up the tires. He's still going out wide there. I swear that's losing him like a tenth, half a tenth every time he does that. I couldn't see where he was. Man, sometimes it stinks not having purple monitors. I was afraid to turn because I didn't know if he was making the corner or not. There you go, there I go missing that corner again, and this time it's not synchronized with him. I'm falling apart. Started to have to think about too many things, like being side by side with him. It's already enough me having to think about how to drive this track normally. Could be the white flag coming up? It should be, it looks like. So much faster than he is in that corner. I'm going to take the inside this time. He's probably going to outbreak me again, but I'll try not to let him. Oh, he spun. Oh, no, I hope that wasn't my fault. Oh, man, I hope that was my fault. I'm thinking about how that might be my fault. I'm, I'm overdriving. I hope I gave you room there, man. I hope that wasn't my fault. I'll, have, I'll look at it. I think he might have done it on his own, but... That stinks. I think we could have had an exciting battle to the end here. Let me not throw this away. Whew. But if we can keep it steady, it looks like a P4. Okay, turn. Don't hit the grass in the very end of the race. Oh, I think he crashed again. I don't see him in the top eight anymore. That sucks. What a horrendous last lap for him. You got a toy car on the rocks. I don't know what the winner's doing. I'm gonna pull over. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly go and take a look at that final, well, the final first corner, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that wasn't something I did. I thought I gave him run, but who knows, man. Oh. 
He's already sliding, it looks like. He had room, I think. It was tight, but... He's already sliding right here. Already losing control. <sighs> did I leave him enough of a lane? I think I probably did. I, I don't know, I could have left more room. But I think even before... We got to that part. He was already spinning. Hmm. So. Yeah, he was just trying to outbreak me. We were both driving in hard. Like he drove in really hard and then just spun it when trying to turn it. So uh, I think that was okay. Might have I might have pushed too wide. But it never became part of the issue, I think, because he was already spinning. Thankfully, he doesn't clip me. That got really close. You see his... <laughs> the right front of his car, ready to puncture my tire. That's not really going to happen, but could have spun me, for sure. I think he had enough room, though. If we're going to go too wide through here, right? Like, there's enough room for a car there. Could have given more room, but thankfully, I don't think that affected it. So, we will look through the incidents normally now, but not after. I take a look at a P4 finish. We move up three spots and uh, kept it clean other than that one Phantom 4X where I had to dodge in the grass. And we will see that here momentarily. They're fighting about something <laughs> in the comments. So, before the race even starts, lap zero. Just uh, shuffling around. Uh, plenty of room, just let this back in. That's what I figured. Okay. I'm racing you. Better. So. Better luck next time. All right. I mean, he still finished for kind of decent, I think. He dropped down a few more, but obviously lost a handful of spots. On the last lap, which, uh, yeah, it was tight. That's kind of what I kind of landed on. Like, we were racing tight, but, uh, we were racing real close. But I think in the end, it just stepped out on him there just because we were driving so hard into turn one, doing our, our best to get the spot. So, uh, doo -doo. Right, continuing on. Everyone's mad at everybody. I see so many different names in here saying things. <laughs> I don't know why we're getting some of these. Okay, now we're getting the pace car, which doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, it's broken. Why are we getting the pace car? Get out of here. Pull off the track. There we go. <laughs> Darn pace car wants all the attention. Yeah, those guys just get into each other. I imagine it's pretty hard going too wide through there. I haven't done it myself yet, and I'm kind of thankful because it looks like it's not easy to do. The blue car just kind of turns into him. Doesn't give enough room. And gets it spun. Seen that for no reason. Incidents aren't doing so great here. <laughs> Okay, we were got actually something. Ooh. Talk, guys talking about their wives leaving them? People are having a rough time. That guy's wa wife left him after this race. <laughs> uh, the white car's not by the wall. I think maybe the black car was expecting him to be. 
Oh, and then that tiny bit of contact, baby, just got him real unsettled. And then right in the path of the three car who just had nowhere to go. And they get all tangled up. That guy's getting incident reports on the pit lane for some reason. Actually, this is a guy. Like, hey, this is Johnny on the spot. Um, I don't know. If you've got the leaders coming and you've already had your race kind of affected this way, I don't know if you pull out of the pits unless you're sure you're going to get out well ahead of them. You know? Is that just me? Like, you know you're going to be coming out right in the middle of a pack of cars. And if not only for your own sake, I mean, he gets in an accident because he's putting himself right in the middle of it all. So it looks like this Paul gets into the back of the leader. Oh my goodness. Several guys just stacking up because they were so close. Mm. So we got a couple guys turned around. Guys trying to make their way through. There's me. So because the lab car is here, I'm coming around the corner. I don't know about it quite yet. I just see a slow car ahead, and I'm like, okay, what's happening? And then I just see it right about now. I'm trying to slow down. I'm as hard as I can on the brakes here. I'm glad I didn't spin it from doing that. Because that can sometimes get you spun around heavy on the brakes. Ooh, I just get slowed down in time, I think, to not clip the back of this guy. I might have barely... <laughs> I think I barely touched him. It was enough to give a 4x, but not enough to cause damage. And then I just have to lose a whole bunch of time going around into the grass. And I'm not going to aggressively get back on track and hurt someone. I know that this isn't the racing line right here. I know people are going to be going out wide. And that uh, they should be able to see this happening from back here. So that's why I felt safe coming onto the track where I did. Unfortunately, that will lose me four spots, it looks like. Although we do gain two, so there's that. But gain two spots, lose four, net loss of two. <laughs> so. And uh, this is the guy we ended up fighting to the end. Here's the guy that was making me nervous in the pace laps, and that's why. That is exactly why. I predicted that would probably... Uh, happen and unfortunately the victim was the number 14 if a guy is almost running into the back of you on the pace laps that's reason to be concerned about the actual race <laughs> so that's what happened there oh the uh, one's got damage and he's trying to limp it back to the pits for his fast repair without towing I think and then, I don't know what's happening ahead here. Just, uh, not, this guy not being able to take the corner how he wants. And then he's real slow through here. And the number one, or, you know, the, the previous leader, is much faster. And, uh, so, it looks like he tries to avoid hitting him and then ends up off course. Maybe a little Netco deciding they hit tires. So he just had a very, very rough lap right here. I think we're just getting some guys on this transition from the flat to the banking. We've got someone off course. That's an easy place to do it. Not too surprising there. That looked weird though. Why did that look the way it did? Whoa, it's almost like his steering went out for a second. Do you see that? Whoa, that's weird. My uh, camera's a little <laughs> sideways from when I was looking earlier. But you'll see he's turning. It looks like he's going to make the corner just fine. And all of a sudden he stops turning. It's like the wheel slipped out of his hands. That's kind of strange. Next. Transition. Nothing going on there. We're still only on lap 
two, by the way. <laughs> Heading into lap three. So that was an eventful couple of opening laps. Gonna move a little faster since we're getting some false reads here. Gonna just skip until we see guys near each other or sideways. All while trying to not to break the incidents. Thankfully, it looks like it cleaned up once guys got space between one another. For some reason, it's showing guys on pit lane, including the pace car. Transitions. Well, shoot. We get someone. We got someone with a run. No actual contact happening, though, it looks like. You get massive runs on this front stretch. Alright, I'm gonna go faster. Oh, here's something. There's a real thing. What do we have here? For seventh place, here's the guy I was worried about. Just a not very smart move right there. Looks to me... Like he's not there, and yet he's gonna... He's going to dive in, and uh, that is a dangerous place to put yourself in, because this guy's committed to taking the corner as normal. He's getting car inside right now. He's already angled to go through the corner how he plans to do it. You can see he reacts to it, but it's still not enough, because not only did this guy dive bomb, he didn't hold the line. So, uh, it looks like... Yeah, he locked up the brakes maybe for a second, came up and got him, and, uh, well, he made the pass, technically. But, uh, that's not gonna make anyone happy. Unless he's, like, sadistic or something and wants to wreck people. That would make him happy, I guess. Nothing here. Continuing onward. Weren't too many laps in this race. These are pretty quick races. Side by side here, what's this gonna look like? Looks like a fair exchange to me. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this is us racing. No, not you. And this guy almost catching up to us. Ooh. Gets his legs... Uh, his legs. I was gonna say brakes locked up, and I said lakes brocked up. <laughs> he gets his brakes locked up. Looks like that helps us get away from him a little bit. I wonder if this is getting false positives because we're technically driving backwards on Indianapolis. Like if it were the Oval. I don't know. I've heard, like, that can kind of do weird things sometimes with these incident reports. But we should be coming up right to the end of this thing. I imagine we're going to see the last lap spin out soon, if that does show up at all. Oh, here's someone else nearby. Battling for the lead, potentially. We did 11 laps, so we are on lap 8. Sorry, the incidents are so broken, but I am interested in seeing what happened, because it seemed like an, event, uh, an eventful race. And here's that side-by-side -side again. We'll watch it full speed, see how we like. I thought I was much closer to him than I was. I was trying to get as much room as possible, and it th I thought I was closer than that. So, another case where triple monitors really helped me, but, like, I swear I was looking left and it looked like he was closer. And that would have helped me a little bit not to, uh, push wide, as wide as I did. Oh, no, this wasn't the... I forgot we were side by side a different lap. I'm a dummy. I'm sorry. The point still stands, though. I thought I was closer than I was. 
All right, come on. Getting another run on him here. That's what's. This is the time I tried the outside, and he was just breaking so much harder into turn one, and I just wasn't that brave. I had a feeling I was going to spin it out. So we got to look at that. And here is that final lap. See, this time I am closer, I believe. But still not as close as I thought I was. Nah, I'm not even really closer. I'm a full car width away still. Yeah. So that stinks for the, uh, for the 8. He was racing well. I didn't see any problems with him whenever we were racing, so... Um, hate to see someone that's racing well have a bad uh, result. And uh, it looks like that'll be just about it, I think, unless we got some last lap shenanigans, but I'm not sure we do, because we got the uh, the winner of the race slamming on the brakes and then doing whatever this is. I don't know why you would do that. I guess he's trying to do burnouts, except, you know, people are coming across the line and it's still a live track, you know? I mean, these guys may be finished, but if you run into them, you still get incidents, so I don't know about that. Maybe do a uh, cooldown lap before you start trying to do burnouts. But hey, he, he won the race. He can do what he wants, I guess. And everybody finishing up here. And these are cooldown laps, I think. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, these are cooldown laps. He was just uh, trying one more lap or something. Maybe he wanted to try something. So that'll do it. We got ourselves fourth place just outside the podium. We lose two I rating, even though I feel like I did so much better than I expected. But that's what it, it is what it is. I'm a 3.7 in a 1.5 strength of field. Next person was a 2.6, so uh, very difficult to gain anything from that. But uh, I gained the much more important thing, which is experience and a fun time. <laughs> I hope you had a fun time watching, and I appreciate you, and hope you have a good rest of your day. Have a good one.